Welcome back to the Kodeshop YouTube channel. Sometimes product delivery to the customers turn out to be faulty or get damaged in transit. Thus they need to be returned for a refund, delivery of a replacement product or repairs. Once repaired, products can be re-delivered to the customer. In order repairs for products returned by customers can be tracked in the repairs module. So let's have a closer look. The repairs module is integrated with the manufacturing, inventory, and help desk applications. The return and repair process for damaged products typically follows these three steps. First, we need to process a return order for the damaged product. Next, we need to create a repair order for the return product. And finally, we need to return the repaired product to the customer. Now, let's talk about the second step. Once the products have been returned, the repairs can be tracked by creating a repair order. To create a new repair order, navigate to the repair module and click new button. This will open a blank repair order form. On this form, begin by selecting a customer. The chosen customer should be the one for whom the order will be invoiced and shipped. Next, select the product to repair it. Select the quantity and the units of measure. In the return field, you can click the drop down menu and select the return order from which the product to be repaired came. Select the under warranty checkbox if the product being repaired is under warranty. If selected, the customer will not be charged for all parts used in the repair order. Select the date and time for the repair and then click apply button. Next, select the user who will be responsible for the repair, which company this repair order belongs to, and which tax should be applied. Below you have the part step. In the type column, you will see three options to choose from. Add, remove, and recycle. The add option lists the components to be used in the repair. If the components are used, the user completing the repair can record that they were used. If they weren't used, the user can indicate that as well, and the components can be saved for another use. Selecting Remove, remove components that should be removed from the repair product during the repair process. Selecting Recycle, recycle that part from the repair order, designated it for the future use or to be reused in the warehouse. In the Product column, select which product to add, remove, or recycle, and change the quantity if necessary, to indicate how much of that product should be used in the repair process. Once the part has been successfully added, removed or recycled, it will appear in the down column. To add more columns to the row, click here. Ok, so that's how you enter the parts. And then you have repair notes. If there is anything that the user performing the repair needs to know, you have the space over here to specify it. On the miscellaneous tab, you can see the operation type for this repair and the locations. Ok, before I save it, I would like to point out that this repair is not covered by the warranty. Once all the desired configurations have been made, click Confirm Repair. This will move the repair order to the confirmed status. If you need to cancel the repair order, click Cancel Repair. Now let's start it. Once all products have been successfully repaired, the repair order is complete. To register this in the database, click End Repair. If the product is out of warranty or if the customer is responsible for the repair, click Create Quotation. This opens a new sale order form that calculates the total amount of the repair. If the customer is to be charged for a repair service, a service type product can be created and added here. Then click Confirm and proceed to invoice the customer for the repair. Ok, let's go back to the repair orders. So that's the repair order that we created. You can see the status as repaired. And here you have a sales order reference. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.